part of me is very scared from this project, but the other one, <laughs> it's very curious. So what do I have to push? Grab it, grab it, grab it, don't let I'm it go. I'm grabbing it, I'm grabbing it. Pull it yours. Okay, your that's easy, okay, that's away. easy. Okay. Woo! So that would be the corner. So many reasons why we felt so lucky the way the street fell on the studio because it didn't do any damage and it's all the position of the tree and how strong Jod built this studio but Jod just had to redirect the falling of the tree but otherwise we were able to get away with no damage When my boys were little, I started to draw and paint and I discovered I really like to do that. So I started to pursue a little bit more and I started to selling my little paintings on the scan fair, which is a once a year. Actually, they do it twice a year, once in the midsummer, once uh, right before Christmas. But I just went with one event because everything that I was able to do during the year next to um, having my boys young at the time, um, that's how much I was able to do. Then we decided to do the homeschooling. So again, this whole art project was pushed to the back burner. But now the timing is right. The boys are more independent. Um, they can drive themselves to the school. <laughs> so this is a perfect time that I can start to work more on my art and hopefully create uh, a lot of cute things and maybe children books as well. We'll see, time will tell. <laughs>
I love this shaft unit from IKEA. I used that in different setups and in different rooms and I'm going to use this in the studio. Joat is working on the floor and pretty much after that we can move in the bigger items and he can work on the minor things. His goal was to finish this by my birthday so on my actual birthday we can start to haul the things in. Cleaning up after a construction, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of dust, so I'm going to clean one more time once everything is moved in and Joa doesn't have to do anything else, but basically right now I'm just cleaning off the major part of the dust. The official moving day is tomorrow, but tonight I'm bringing down some of the items. It is really hard to wrap my mind around that this area is all for creation and for fun. Joat is making a birthday cake for me and it is our favorite and it's a Swedish pancake layered with some apricot jam and walnut and dairy free yogurt mixed with some maple syrup and we just layer that and it tastes so delicious and after that we're going to start to haul the things into the studio. Side. 
after months of work finally the day is here we can start to bring down all the stuff and i can start to think about how to organize this space This space has so many possibilities how to decorate for Christmas and then how to organize all the craft supplies and then the shipping station. It's gonna be so much fun and I will take you along for that journey as well. So my next video I will have a little itty bitty preview of that at the end of this video but I will do an organizing video. It will be probably more than one video because I have a lot to do but it will be fun to organize and decorate this studio. Mm -hmm. 